The purpose of this module is to show you how to install the SPD100 handle switch kit into the Tokheim Electric 77 reset. We're doing this inside of our shop today so it's a little cleaner environment and you can see all the pieces clearly. Right here we have a Tokheim 77 reset. Obviously the computer has been removed and the front has been taken off. Once you get the cover off, you'll disconnect the electrical connector and lay this over to the side. On a unit inside the dispenser, there's all kinds of wiring that's coming in here. And we're going to be rewiring this following the directions that you'll find in the installation manual for the SBD-100. So for this uh, purpose here, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the current motor switch. You're not going to need that anymore. Now if this was in an actual unit, obviously you would just disconnect these wires and leave them hanging. But they're already cut, so I'm just going to pull the whole thing out. And you lay that over to the side. Then this is what you have. Now this cover that I have here already has the motor removed out of here. I wanted to show you this because you can remove that motor and all these little components and use them in um, other replacement uh, resets that you have out in the field. Or you can um, keep the housing completely intact like this. But I'm going to show you the modification that does have to be made in order for clearance. And what you're going to do after removing your screw here, this plate comes off and you notice the little gear here. Using a small flat blade screwdriver and holding that in place, you begin to unscrew this shaft here and take this gear out. Pull that out of the way. And then all we're going to do is remove this little clip. and pull this cam, watching that you have a spring here, you don't want to get hit in the face. But you're going to remove that cam, and then this can either be discarded or used as a service replacement part out in the field for another mechanical unit. Once that's removed, just take your gear, slide it back down in here. You want to hold your gear there, and it just screws back into place. And now that's been modified. Lay that over the side a moment. Now this is what you're going to find in your kit. You're going to have a switch that is already pre-mounted to a plate. You're going to have two screws and you're going to have a spring retainer. First thing that you're going to want to do is take your retainer and put it right over the top of where your handle spring is in the current reset model. Push that down into place. And if you have any trouble getting that into the place there, you can use like a small socket is what we do here in the, in the shop. Put that on there and just tap it in place to set it. One thing to note is if you notice any of the components that are broke or if this is really sloppy when you pull this apart, you may want to service that at that time um, using components that are available through your um, token distributors. Then you're going to take this switch. Switch goes down. Plate goes on top. We're going to put it right in place there. Now these holes are slightly drilled out larger. So if you don't get the right connection, you can move this around a little bit to uh, get the proper clearance. Now the final thing we'll do here at this moment is we're going to check with a voltmeter. Continuity across the switch to make sure everything works properly. We're going to check from your common point here to your normally open section. And we see that that works properly. Now there is a little bit of an adjustment and stuff that would that will have to be done on these as you go along. But you hear there that's closing, so we're good. Now you're going to want to proceed to the wiring section of your manual.